Hey everybody, welcome to a lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to keep building upon our game here by adding a enemy spawner system to our game. So let's get started. So where we left it off last time, we can play our game. Our enemy will follow us around and chase us wherever we go. All right, looking good. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to take this enemy we've created and turn it into a prefab. So I'm going to go to my assets folder here. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to make a folder called prefabs. Prefab is just a prefabricated game object that can be spawned uh, or used repeatedly into a game. It's very helpful when you're using multiple of the same object. So I'm going to take my enemy down here from my hierarchy and I'm going to drag it to my prefab folder. And then we got this little uh, blue cube here next to our enemy indicating that it is a prefab. I can now take my enemy from my scene and delete it. Okay, looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a spawn location for my enemies. I'm going to use just a temporary empty right now, but later on I'll change that with a sprite graphic possibly. I'm going to right click, create an empty, and I'm going to call this enemy spawner. Excellent. There, let's go back to my scene tab here. Here's my enemy spawner, and we'll just kind of put it maybe on this little portal right here. That's where our enemies are going to spawn. Excellent. All right, so let's go and make our script now for the enemy spawner. Oops, let's just put that zero on the Z, very important. So I'm gonna go to my scripts folder, and I'm gonna create a new C-sharp script, and I'm gonna call this enemy spawner. You got it. And I'm gonna take that enemy spawner, and let's drag it onto the game object that we've made. Just taking a second to refresh the scripts there. Excellent, so let's take that here, drag it onto our enemy spawner, and then we have our enemy spawner script there. Double click, open it up, and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna make a few, uh, we're gonna make a few variables here for our script. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the uh, game object that we're gonna be spawning. So let's make a public game object, and let's call this spawned enemy, okay? And then let's create a couple public floats here. Uh, we'll create one called time to spawn. And then we'll keep another one called spawn countdown. Perfect. Okay. Um, and uh, here in the start, we'll actually just go check just to make sure everything looks looking good in the unity when we see our enemy spawner. Okay, we have a time to spawn and we have our spawn countdown. Perfect. And uh, right away at the start, we're gonna take our spawn countdown, and this is the number that's going to be ticking down from whatever value you do it, and we're gonna make it equal to our time to spawn. And what that's gonna do is, let's go back to Unity, and I'll kind of show you right now. I probably guess I should probably spell that correctly just to clarify things there. Excellent, let's go back to Unity. And if we take our time to spawn. Let's say we want enemies to spawn every three seconds. I'll type in three there. And when I hit play, you should see our spawn countdown just ticking down over there, which it is not. Oh, and I know why it's not. It's not ticking down because we haven't put that code in yet, uh, but it is switching the spawn countdown to whatever our time to spawn is. Okay, now here in the update, we're gonna take our spawn countdown and uh, we are gonna make it equal to minus equals time dot delta time. Let's end that off here. That is going to tick down our spawn countdown as it goes. Okay, let's just do a check here once more time. And so we see our, our time to spawn over here is three. It's going to set our countdown to three. And then it's going to tick down to three. And then eventually we're going to have that uh, spawn the enemy and then reset back up to three. So let's kind of put in that code now. Okay, so let's do an if statement. So we're going to say if spawn countdown is less than or equal to zero, what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to take the spawn countdown and make it back equal to our time to spawn. So that is going to uh, reset our spawn countdown back to that three seconds or whatever value you put into there. Excellent. Then let's spawn our enemy now. Now spawning enemy is pretty straightforward, or spawning any game object that is. We're going to use a command called instantiate. So we're going to take our instantiate command here and we're going to instantiate our spawned enemy. So once you instantiate it, uh, you're saying the what you're instantiating, you're doing where you're instantiating. I'm gonna spawn at my transform position and this script is attached to my any spa enemy spawner, so it's gonna spawn there. And then you have to put its rotation and we're just gonna do a transform.rotation. All right, let's end that up. Hit Control S 
and that's it. So um, if the spawn countdown gets less than zero, and that's going to uh, tick down every second, we are going to uh, reset it back to our time to spawn. We're going to instantiate our spawn enemy at the location and the rotation of the game object that this script is attached to. So let's go try that out now. So enemy spawner, it's looking for what it's going to be spawning. So let's go to uh, our prefabs folder and let's drag our enemy into the prefab over there. And now let's hit play and see if this works. Little hero is running around here. Going down in there, should be spawning right about now. There it comes, spawning out there. So now we're counting down another one here. We should get a second enemy and a third enemy and a fourth enemy. Every three seconds, a new enemy should spawn. All right, so we have a basic spawning system into our game. That is perfect. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching, and we will see you all later.